Now, I've talked about how this spreadsheet is going to be useful for any contractor out there, any construction company, any company that's putting out estimates for a project. And when you get this spreadsheet, it's going to be automatically set up for hardscaping companies, landscaping companies. But really, it doesn't take much to change this over to be useful for any type of contractor that you are. And in this video, we're going to show you how you're going to do that. So for any business, it's going to have the same thing. It's going to have, you're going to be editing the business operations tab. You're going to be inserting your overhead expenses. You're going to be inserting your employees. That doesn't change for anybody uh, in any contracting type of business. The labor cost is all the same. What changes is when we get into production rates, because when we get into production rates in this spreadsheet, we've already got it set up for a hardscaping business. For example, we have the main interlock uh, production rates that's going to be broken down into excavation, base preparation, base preparation, and so on as this, this spreadsheet continues. Now, if you, if you are not a hardscaping company, all you need to do is just simply edit these. For example, say that you are a roofing company and you're not doing interlock and your production rate involves uh, tearing down the old roof. Uh, you can just change this to tear down and you can change all of your production rates for that tear down. And now when we go over to labor time, you can see that that has been edited here and your production rates in that tear down will now be available in the drop down as you edit that. So this is how this spreadsheet is editable for your business for exactly what you want to do so you can continue to edit all of these different uh, production rates that makes it useful for your business in the different steps that uh, that you'd be estimating for and the same thing happens over here in the materials the materials again you wouldn't be if you're a roofing company you wouldn't be using interlock and slabs and retaining walls and coping but instead, you would say be using a, uh, you know, your um, your roofing tiles, sorry, your shingles, and that would now be available in your cost of sale tab. And that's there. And anything that you put into that column would be available to you there. Right now, we have interlock in there because before we have interlock in this column. So this is how this is going to be useful to any contractor. That's the only thing that you need to edit to make it useful for yourself as a contractor in whatever business you're doing in. All you need to do is just change the production rate, different production rates, and change the different materials that you would be using. This is how this spreadsheet is customizable to your business.